who's been striking gold in Mexico. Inevitably, the distance runners carry the full burden of Mexico's altitude problem. Ron Clark of Australia, number 102, to suffer the fate of Kano in the 10,000 meters. Both on their backs with oxygen starvation, while Naftali Temu of Kenya pounded home. His time, the fastest ever run at this altitude, was still nearly two minutes slower than the sea level world record set by Clark. If the high altitude hinders long distance, it can do great things for other events. Romania's Visco Poliano sets a new world and Olympic record long jump to take the gold. But we're all watching Sheila Sherwood, who's taken over where the great Mary Rand left off. She jumped 21 feet 11 inches to take the silver medal for Britain. Let's watch that lightning 100 meters final. Watch number 279, the fantastic Heinz of America, improving on world and Olympic records in 9.9 .9 seconds. Black power in the athletic sense. In almost ludicrous contrast, the finish of the 20 kilometer walk. But nothing ludicrous in Mexican Pedraza's gallant last lap effort to overtake Golubnitsi of Russia. After more than one and a half hours, how near he came to scoring his country's first gold medal, and how bitter the tears of frustration. But no frustration in that world-shattering 400 meters hurdles. At least no frustration for that fantastic fair-haired world beater, Britain's David Hemery. Here, Hemery passes John Sherwood in the outside lane. John Sherwood to finish third to take the bronze. But it's all eyes on Hemery, who's brought athletics to a subtle balance between theory and practice. He's studied the performance of his rivals down to the very last second. And it's Hemery beating the rest of the field into a frazzle, beating the world record in a sizzling 48.1 seconds. So David Hemery wins Britain's first gold medal. Congratulations, too, to John and Sheila Sherwood, their Britain's first husband and wife partnership to win medals in the same Olympics.